Ella Fitzgerald, also known as the Queen of Jazz, Our Lady Ella is one of the most famous female jazz artists of all times. Her career lasted more than 50 years during which she received a handful of Grammys and sold millions of albums. Ella was born April 25, 1917 in Newport News, Virginia to William Fitzbert and Temperance Williams. Ella and her mother Temperance then moved to Yonkers, New York and eventually moved in with Temperance's longtime boyfriend, Joseph Day Selby. The family struggled financially, but Ella helped by running numbers for local gamblers, picking up their bets and dropping off money. In 1932, after the death of her mother, she was moved with her aunt where she began to skip school and eventually was sent to a reform school, but didn't stay long. By 1934, now 17 years old, she tried living out on her own and became homeless. Still harboring dreams of being an entertainer, Ella entered amateur night at Harlem's famous Apollo Theater. She wowed the audience and won first place. Her performance led her to meet band leader and drummer Chick Webb and eventually joined his group. She then began touring regularly at one of Harlem's hottest clubs, the Savoy Ballroom. In 1935, she recorded her first song, Love and Kisses. She then co-wrote and recorded her first number one hit, A Tisket A Tasket. She worked with jazz icons including Benny Goodman, Louis Armstrong, Count Betsy, and Frank Sinatra. Following Webb's death in 1939, she took over, renaming the group Ella Fitzgerald and her famous orchestra. Three years later, Ella turned solo and landed a deal with Decca Records, where she even starred in a film. The music of the sensational sepia songstress, Ella Fitzgerald. A tisket, a tisket. Ella soon toured with Dizzy Gillespie and his band, where she changed her singing style by incorporating scat singing. The 1950s and 60s proved to bring even more success by the recording of her first album and two Grammy Awards. By the 1970s, she broke into the pop charts with her rendition of Mac the Knife. In the 1980s, Ella began to experience health problems including diabetes that led her to become blind and have both legs amputated. On June 15, 1996, Ella Fitzgerald died in her Beverly Hills home. Ella's remarkable accomplishments include the recording of over 2,000 songs and 13 Grammys. The legacy of Ella Fitzgerald continues today. In 2007, the U.S. Postal Service released a commemorative stamp. The stamp celebrates the 90th anniversary of her birth. <laughs>